Hopkins with one more point. Oh, that was three points. Two points and one on the line if he makes it. It'll be a three-point play. Girls can't afford that. One shot for Mark Hopkins on the foul. So he can make it a three-point play. The Alouettes leading 15 to 10. We've got 11-22 remaining in the first half of this game between the all-world women's team and the Montreal Alouettes in the Pepsi Challenge. High arc, no good. Off the back of the rim. White ball, all the women to Silva on the far side. Back in the center. And a giveaway again. And oh boy, can that man go up? Chris Francis. Yes, they can. There's no Seven doubt about lead. it. They can play. Dawson College and Concordia University have two fine players in Chris Francis and Dwight Walton. And Again, another turnover by the women. They are really looking jittery at the moment. Hopkins up off the backboard and in. I think it's time for a timeout on this one. The girls have got to regroup. One thing I'm finding strange, Bob, is that the players like Donovan and Blanche and uh, Mankin, who's six, over 6'5", six, should be posting up inside. A lot of them are, I've caught them out in the foul line, I've caught them out in the wing, and that's it might be because of the lineup. There's a lot of centers and not enough forwards out there on the court at the time. There's a look at Chris Francis of Concordia, having a little bit of water and a well-earned rest. Yes, I'm sure that uh, the two all-world women's team the coaches, Michelle Belanger and Cindy Hoggishward, will be having a few words with their ladies. They need to. What to do and what not to do under that basket. Here's a look at Francis in action. Well. Francis pushing the ball up, and Debbie Hubans, great defensive player, she tries to fake him and then get the charge, Debbie. That's what she needed there. If he didn't have control, and she just opened the gate to him. Francis can push the ball up, controlled it for two points. He went up and over for a pair. It's 19-10 for the Alouettes, and a very surprising turn of events. I think almost everybody here at the Morris Richard Arena thought the ladies would be out in front at this point, and they were. They took an early lead, 8-3, but since then, it's been mostly Alouettes. The all-world women making one turnover after the other. There's Blanchet of Holland. Ooh. And we have a little foul and a little smile from Blanchet and Fairbanks. He's not entirely uh, unhappy to be uh, guarding her closely. Not too closely. <laughs> and all Alouettes on the floor now. There's no added players. So I should I expect to see the score change wow. again once. Once more. Melville, number eight, fouled on the play. She was in the act of shooting. The foul was by Big Nick Araki. Here Watch it is. Araki. Araki should have just stayed on the ground. There he got. He got her with the body right there. Should have stayed on the ground and just tried to use his reach. Melville has just sunk the first of her two shots and she makes it two out of two for Pat Melville 19 12 the seven point lead for the Alouettes in red ball brought up the court by Rick Ryan over to Dottilio unguarded and he pots one nice arc to that one 21 12 nine points the lead brought back by De Silva of Brazil tremendous all-around player into Blanger of Holland, back to De Silva. A three-point try, and it's good. Oh, a quicker. She can shoot. That girl has got range galore. Ryan on the drive, down the middle, up and off the rim. Controlled by Fairbanks, can't put it in. One more try, goes out of bounds. Well, Fairbanks has a nice left hook he uses once in a while, so the girls have to watch him. He's not coming on the right side, he's stronger on the left. Iraqi, over to Kurtz. There you go, that's that reach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Six foot four reach. That's Debbie Huban. Huban. So now it's a four point game, 21-17. The Alouettes over the all world women. Ryan for the Alouettes, guarded by De Silva of Brazil. Back to Dottilio in the middle. Over to Kurtz, the place kicker up. And no basket. Another foul. 
Another Karate. foul that time. The Karate's reaching and pushing from behind. That's the second foul on Big Nick Araki. And there's a foul right here. Blocking out. Can't see him on the screen, but Nick uses his body right there to push Ann Donovan. Melville, the all-world women. Over to Duban, to De Silva, into Blanchet. That's it. Under the bucket to Donovan. She shot the two points, and we're into a two-point game now. That's how the girls 19. have to play. They've got to post up inside of the two big girls. Beginning to put them where they should be playing, right under the hoop with their effective. Some really fine action now into Iraqi. Back on the drive, and a good save there by Rick Ryan, and he was traveling, so it's a turnover. Some pressure on him by the Silva, causing the turnover. The Silva, the long three-pointer and off the rim. Iraqi has the rebound to Ryan. Lead pass for Dottilio, too far, he can't get it. No save there, and the ball goes right up on the stage. It seems to have disappeared, an invisible ball. <laughs> Stage is eating it up. <laughs> Would you believe our man Andy Little went in there behind the backdrop to get that ball? Way to go, Andy. The only time he's going to touch the ball tonight. <laughs> Melville into That's Donovan, the hook shot, no good. Fairbanks went up for the rebound and he was fouled. Fight wow. fouled by Blanger. Blanger did the same thing Nicaraki did at the other end of the floor. Instead of getting position, she started leaning on the player in front of her. Got to get around with your feet. Lock out. Ryan with the ball over to Kurtz, to Dottilio, back to Kurtz. Guarded by Melville in the corner to Ryan, back to Dottilio, working it around. 15 seconds still on the shot clock. 30 seconds you get international ball, so they have a long time. Kurtz now takes the try off the back of the rim and cleared nicely by Donovan. Up to De Silva, over to Huban, number seven for the all-world women. In and out, and cleared by Fairbanks for the Alouettes. Ahead to Dottilio, the end to Iraqi, the drive, the layup is good. Big Nick Iraqi, looking good on that play, nice layup. Now, back come the all-world women. Huban with the ball. Moves it in. To Donovan. No, she can't find the hoop. Cleared by the Alouette. And Donovan to that inside shot. She usually makes those. So I don't know whether it's fatigue or what. Here they go. The nice and successful. Back to the All World Women. Marcaria Brazil. Oh, a fingertip roll wouldn't fall for her. 23 19. A four point lead for the Alouette. Thompson has it blocked. By Ann Donovan. Boy, she's terrific at that. Well, she's got to reach it. She's learned not to foul while she's blocking shots. Race for the ball. There and it is. Nicely picked up passed. by Huban into De Silva. Over to Blanchet. Big girl from Holland under the basket. On the outside again to De Silva. She pops it. Now it's a two point game. 23 21. The Alouette's leading. There's a passing here. The girls aren't really used to each other's styles of play. You gotta remember there's Americans here, Dutch, Brazilians, and they're not used to playing together, but the Brazilians have a fantastic passing game. They fake you out while you look while you're running, you might get at the back of your head. They here see they come, you. Here they there's come again. One. Melville has it blocked by Dottilio. In to Ryan. Now they're pushing the ball to the floor. Uh, that's a beautiful play. The nice play right over the back. Nice shot by Roy Kurt, the Alouette's place kicker. Four-point lead for the Owls, 25-21. Debbie Huband of Canada to De Silva. She a will shoot, though. three-pointer, and boy, does she shoot them. Whoa, can she fire it. We have a timeout now. And it's a two-point game. The Alouette's leading 25-23. That's one. Let's have a look at that last one. Boy, they can shoot from outside, those Brazilian ladies. You can't leave them alone. Especially that girl, if you if you give her three feet, she's going to take it and make it. That was from a long way out. The uh, the three point line, the three point semicircle is 22 feet out from the baseline, 
and she was three or four feet. <laughs> can't see that far. <laughs> <laughs> she was three or four feet out from that, so it was a really good long shot by De Silva. Now they have the two Brazilians on the floor, two of them on together, so this should be interesting. You can see the styles of play. The two guards used to playing with each other, running and passing, so it should even get a little more intense. Oh, no, not too intense. There's Dwight Walton is coming on the floor. Another addition for the Alouette. So they're not taking any chances here. Walton bringing it up the floor. In and off a finger. And now that's Hopkins. To Kibo. Back to Walton. Walton guarded by De Silva. Kibo trying to get away. And the women take it away. Kibo. Look at that behind the try. back. <laughs> this Brazilian lady can do it. Hortensia Marcari. But can't make it drop. Rocky clears the rebound. To Walton. Walton slowly bringing it up. Into the corner he goes. Into the center for Rocky. The Hopkins won't fall. Here's big Blake Nill. Oh, boy, Mark wow. Hopkins on the drive, and three people were on him. That's one thing. They collapsed on him, and he's a smart player, Hopkins. He's one of the better ones on the team. Steve Roque and, and Hopkins know that if there's a crowd around you, go up anyway. You might get the foul. In this case, they did. Well, it's a one-point game now, 25-24. The Alouettes, and oh, it wouldn't drop for Mark Hopkins, the Alouettes linebacker. Leading scorer in the game to Silva with eight points so far. New player on the floor, Shea Taylor. She's from New Jersey, number 12. Two points, the lead for the Alouettes over the All-World women. De Silva to Mankin. Mankin did two or three fakes and still couldn't get it to fall. Mankin on the steal, they're on the floor. Blake Dill comes up with it. The interception by Marcari. Oh, she's a power, a power, that little girl. And a long shot again, but it won't fall. Blake Dill clears the board. Into the corner for Steve Rocky, the defensive end. The great pass rusher for the Alouettes. Now they're playing a little full court press by the All-World women. See what that'll do to the Alouettes game plan. Hopkins. Looking for someone to pass off to to Rocky in the corner. Rocky drives for the bucket. Up and no good. And he's fouled. That's Shea Taylor. She just got came into the game and picked up her first foul. But as you see, the Brazilians are putting on quite a show. And that's what they always do on the road. Those two players are the whole Brazilian team and have held off many a great team. Just the two of them together. We've got a two-point game here. The Alouette's up 26-24, and Rocky couldn't make his first free throw. Maybe they should foul him on the, all night. <laughs> make him make it from the line. There well, you he go. He didn't come any closer with that one. Four minutes remaining in the first half. Fratelli over to Marcari. Fratelli back in again, trying for the hook shot. Ah. And she's fouled, a hacking foul, called by referee Harry Huss. Chris Critelli played on the 1976 Olympic team. She was one of my teammates way back then, and fine player, exciting player. She's now the coach at uh, Brock University. Zeta Guilford in the game, number eight for the All-World Women. Look at Walton go. He can put on a bit of a show. He Walton sure can. all the way by himself, but can't put it in. Second shot, third shot. And Rocky finally gets the rebound. And the offensive rebound, all important there. A four-point lead for the Alouette, 28-24. Here's Guilford on a drive, a handoff to Taylor, and it's good, two points. And Rosetta Taylor. Guilford, she is, just came on the floor, and she's a fantastic passer. Shaney's take, that's Shea Taylor on the floor that just scored. She's a pretty good defender. She's working on Walton right now. Over to Keeble, to Hopkins. Drive under the bucket. He stepped out of bounds, did big Rocky. I'm really excited to see this player play. Number eight, she has the ball right now. She, I've heard so much about this girl. I've never seen her play. I hear she's fantastic, and we'll get to see it today. Oh, behind the back pass by Rosetta Guilford. And a wooden drop for Fratelli. 
Two points to lead for the Alouettes. 28-26. 2.47 remaining in the first half. A terrific basketball game. Walton tries the long pass. Didn't connect. So the women bring it back. Guilford coming up the floor for the all-world women. Intercepted by Walton. Boy, he can get up in the air. And here's Hopkins a mile in the clear. The uncontested layup. You wouldn't want to miss one of those. <laughs> really? I was looking for the slam dunk. I think he changed his mind on the way. Caution, the better part of <laughs> flamboyant. 30-26, the Alouettes lead. Guilford grabbed by Keeble. <laughs> With a foul. That's his, that's his second. Big Glenn Keeble, the center for the Alouettes, mugging it up for the crowd a little bit. He's a lot of fun. Now, here's the foul. Keeble says, why, why not? Let me just hug her a little bit. <laughs> hey, why <laughs> what not? What did I do? <laughs> they might call this the battle of the sexes, but it's anything but a battle, really. It's uh, a good, strong competition, and that's exactly what it should be. Guilford to the line. She'll shoot two. Her team trailing by four points. High arc, boy. I wonder what the ladies, they often shoot a much higher arc than many men. Well, you have to, especially when you're used to playing against guys, just when you're practicing. You, you, the arc is there, the arms are right over you. Now it's a two-point game, 30-28. The Alouettes leading, 2-17 remaining in the first half. And here comes one of the Brazilian twin sticks what? of dynamite, Hortensia Marcari, number six. Started by Chapdelaine into Guilford. Oh, good fake. Up and in for now this is fun seeing Mark Carey and Guilford together. We got a tie game. The pass underneath. Nicaraki puts it in and breaks that tie. A two-point lead for the Alouettes. 32-30, 144 remaining in the first half. Mark Carey of Brazil bringing it up. Pass shot the lane right down the middle of the drive. And she had it knocked away. So it's a timeout. And a terrific basketball game. 138 left in the first half. 32-30, the Montreal Alouettes leading. And we've seen some very surprising things so far, Sylvia. That's right. It's a little bit more competitive than everybody had said at the beginning. But I, I'm really pleased to see the type of competition with Dwight Walton on the floor and Chris Francis and Mark Carey and Guilford for the women's team putting on quite a show for us tonight. The lady in the center of the all-world women's team wearing the bow tie is... Inbounds by Bev Smith of Canada. Back to Guilford, who's already shown us something. Long, high shot off the rim by Mark Carey. Jacques Chapdelaine of the Alouettes can't control the rebound. It goes out of bounds, and it's white ball. The women will inbound it. Bev Smith to Guilford. Guilford, she's got a couple of moves. Look at that one, the spin around jumper, and it's in. Whoa! A tie game, 32-30, 1-19 remaining. The Alouettes bring it back. She had the similar styles of the Brazilians, only thing she, hers are dropping consistently here. Here she is again, and one hand was in there. Francis, Chris Francis of Concordia University playing for the Alouettes, switches hands, goes up for the jumper, off the rim, it wouldn't fall again. People having shooting problems here. Mark Carey, the long pass. Oh, leaping high to intercepted it. Francis, a terrific jump. Three on one to shot the lane. Off the shot by Donovan, number 14. Here's Fairbanks from the corner. No good. Araki over to Dottilio. That was the case of the pass receiver passing to the quarterback. Fairbanks into Araki underneath all along. That's a smart play. He didn't try to go up. Nick Araki was wide open. He laid it off nicely to him. So that breaks the tie. 32, 34, 32. Again, now Araki has six points so far. 19 seconds left in his first half. Long shot, no good. Araki picks that one off. Air ball. It's a nice pass. I don't think Annie was looking for it. Ann Donovan, she stood and said, well, I thought you were shooting. Fooled everybody, <laughs> including me. Here's Francis. Only seconds to get the last one in, and there it is from the corner by Dottilio. Just at the whistle. And a five-point lead for the Alouettes, 37-32 on a really good shot by Jerry Dottilio. And Jerry Dottilio each have seven. Nick Arecki has six. And the Alouettes control the tip-off. Here comes Roy Kurtz, the team's place kicker, being guarded by Lee Henry. 
Here's Rocky, and it goes off the rim. And Mark Carey, Brazil, clears the rebound. Boy, she can do it behind the back. She's got a few moves. She takes a lot of dangerous shots, though, so. She does. She won it. Oh, takes the wrist. This Lee back here. Oh, going for the charge. I think she got it. That was a two-on-one and a good play by Lee Henry, the tiny little girl, five feet four. She right. took the charge from Mark Hopkins, the Alouette's linebacker. On a two-on-one break, she stood her ground, took the charge, and so it's a turnover. Brave, brave woman. At five feet four, not too many ladies would uh, take, a, <laughs> take a hit like that from a linebacker. No. Off the fingertips of Mark Carey. So it's a turnover in favor of the Alouettes. Rick Ryan bringing it back. Ryan to Kurtz. Kurtz to Rocky. And it's knocked away from him. Picked up by Quinn. Over to Henry. The real Mutt and Jeff act there. Five feet four and six feet four for the all-world women. Mark Carey, the Brazilian flash on the outside. She's got a lot of moves, but takes many poor percentage shots. Ben Smith from Canada. Up and in. Three a points. beautiful shot. She's got great shooting form. She always has. She's the class type of player you want all kids to learn from. So that three-pointer makes it a two-point game now. 37-35, the Alouettes ahead. And there's Kurtz, who won't go for him. Another try. Big Blake Nill underneath. He gets it in, and he's fouled on the shot. Blake Nill, 280 pounds. How many women would like to hack him? <laughs> not many. You just hope that they're not underneath him when he comes down. That's all. <laughs> They've got to get inside for more rebounds, though. One thing I'm noticing is that they're not blocking out, and this is they can't afford not to block out against a team like this. One from the line for Blake Nill. It won't go. The rebound to Smith, the all-world women's team. Bev Smith from Salmon Arm, B.C. to Hortensia Marcari, who loves those three-point shots, but they just don't go for her. I think she's one for seven he now from the floor. Seven. Notice they're looking at the line. That's new three-point line. It's a new play here in, in, in international rules. Here's Blake Nill. Oh, he crashes. One of the ladies. Boy, that is Althea Gwynn. But she's okay. She's fine. A little flatter, but she's fine. <laughs> it was a foul on Blake Nill. That's his third, so he better be careful now. Bev Smith on the inbounds play for the All-World Women to Lee Henry. Mark Carey had a foot out of bounds when she took that pass, so it's a turnover. And Mark Carey has not been playing the way she usually does. She's usually, like I said, she scored 44 points against the U.S. Olympic team in 1984. She's certainly not going to get 44 tonight. A four-point game so far. 39-35. The Alouettes ahead to Tilio. Back to Kurtz. Rick Ryan. Oh, there's a nice play to Rocky. They're moving it around well now, but wow. Nell was fouled as he went up for the shot. The Alouettes moving the ball nicely. They sure are. Alouettes are getting a nice passing game together. The girls still look like they need one more practice. Haven't spent enough time together, so they have to get back to the fundamentals. That's blocking out simple passes. Nell will get two. The first one doesn't drop. Tough spot on that foul line sometimes, isn't it? Looks easy. Well, it's concentration mainly. Just do the same thing you always do. Every time, you just have to repeat the same shot. Big Blake Nill, 0 for 2 from the line that time. Oh, there's a block shot by Steve Rocky on Bev Smith. She's got a smile on her face, although I'm sure she'd rather see it going through the hoop. <laughs> to Mark Carey, the Brazilian flash. She shoots from everywhere. Boy, oh boy, that's one for eight from the floor, and she's cost her team dearly. She has. She's shooting a very low percentage, and she, she's the type of player that will keep shooting. Rick Ryan driving for the basket underneath to Rocky, and it falls. Nice fall away shot that time by Big Steve Rocky. Now the That's Alouettes the are owls on the floor right now. There's no, no outside players but the owls on the floor, so they're doing very well. Win into Mankin, and it won't go, and Nil clears the boards. So now the Alouette's beef is really paying off inside. Six-point game in favor of the Alouette's, 41-35. But we've still got almost 17 minutes to go. Here's Rocky on the turnaround jumper. And that doesn't fall. Henry gets the rebound. You can believe a five-foot-four-inch lady getting the rebound in all those giants. 
Well, that's a, it's not really uh, very pe peculiar. You see a small girl getting rebounds, but she gets all the leftovers. Smith go in and out. Tough break for Bev Smith. That was in and out. Roy Kurtz. Slowly up the floor with Rick Ryan playing point guard. Here's Mark Hopkins guarded by Smith. Almost lost the ball. Gets it back again to Rocky. He runs into Minkin and his pass goes awry and Henry brings it back. Lee Henry of the U.S. Looking for someone to pass to all the way over to the corner to Mark Carey. She's going to shoot and makes it. A three-pointer. I guess if you keep putting them up top and up still, uh, some of them are going to drop. But that's a sign of a good shooter, though. Have a bad day. Nothing seems to deter Hortensia. She will shoot and shoot and make them. Some days she'll score 80, and one day she'll score two. It's kind of scary for a Just coach. potted a three-pointer. Here comes Glenn Keeble for the Alouettes. Over to Walt, number seven. He's in. Underneath to Iraqi. Block shot, was it? A foul on the shot on the try by big Carol Menken. That's her third. Third foul on Menken of the all-world women's team. So with 15.46 remaining, she's in a bit of trouble. A three-point lead so far for the Alouettes. Nick Iraqi had six points in the first half. And it rolls around and rolls out. Just wouldn't go. Araki getting a little needling from his teammate Lloyd Fairbanks. Hits the rim and that won't go. Third by Althea. Long pass to Bev Smith. Good defense by the Alouettes. Got back quickly. Here's Minkin inside. Block. Win. The fake. Follow-way jumper blocked by Iraqi. Great defense by the Alouettes here. Henry from the outside. A three-pointer. What a shot. We've got a one-point game here now. 41-40. The Alouettes. Great outside shooting by little Henry that time. 41-40. And a turnover. Here's Henry back again. Over to Smith. Smith guarded by Walton. Henry. Dottilio the block on the pass. Henry gets it back. Great reflexes. Mark Carey over to Bev Smith from the outside. Oh, off the rim. I don't know what happened there. Somebody slipped. Walton seemed to have slipped, didn't he? I don't know if those, that three-point rule is such a good idea. Everybody seems to be looking at the line before they shoot. Am I there? Am I not there? And Build up their scoring it. average. That throws off your shooting. Your 1457 left. Sorry, Phil. 1457 left in the second half. 41-40 the Alabama oh. lead. Yeah, as you say, uh, you can't concentrate too well some of the time when you're thinking of building up your scoring average. That's right. A few times now I've seen the girls look down at the line before they put the shot up. 